Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hangout with Maria. I'm your host, Maria Criticos, and I am also the founder of the Ladies Who Lunch Network. Uh, for those of you that don't know about the Ladies Who Lunch Network, we affectionately call it LWL, which of course stands for Ladies Who Lunch, but it also stands for Living a Life Without Limits. And that's really what the motto um, of this network is. Today, we are going to be talking about accountability and why having an accountability partner is so important. You can call it an accountability partner. You can call it a mastermind partner. Uh, you can call it a buddy. It doesn't matter. Um, a goal buddy, you know, someone that helps you achieve your goals. But today, we're going to be referring to it as an accountability partner. So again, hi everyone, I am the founder of the Ladies Who Lunch Network. It is a pleasure to be hanging out with you today. Uh, for those of you listening that don't know much about LWL, uh, Ladies Who Lunch is really a global community of women in business, fashion and philanthropy, living their dream and making a difference in the world. Um, it is an exclusive community and the values that we believe in are freedom, independence, authentic self-expression, uh, and, and most importantly, contribution and living with passion. Uh, to learn more about the Ladies Who Lunch Network, please visit lwlnetwork.com. So today we're gonna be talking about accountability partners and why they are so important and so critical to our success. So first of all, let's talk about what is an accountability partner and maybe what is not an accountability partner. So for those of you that have never heard of what an accountability partner is, really, an accountability partner is someone that holds you accountable. It's someone that coaches you in terms of achieving your goals and uh, really getting to whatever desired outcome it is that you want. Uh, an accountability partner is really someone that you check in with. And why is it important to check in with someone? Because if you're left to your own devices, you're probably not going to do it. <laughs> As entrepreneurs, obviously, we are our own bosses, and we say when we work, we say when we don't work, and for the most part, that can be a really good thing. It can also be a not so good thing, right? Because if we're left to our own devices, then we fall into that downward spiral of, oh, I'll leave that till later, oh, I'll get to that later. That's called procrastination. So getting back to accountability partner, an accountability partner is someone that you check in with um, and someone that helps you achieve your goal, whether personal or business. But today we're talking more about business goals. So why is an accountability partner important? Um, you've all heard the expression, you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with, right? And Jim Rohn said this, and this is very important because surrounding yourself with people that hold you accountable is, is, re is really critical for success. And that's one of the reasons that I started the Ladies Who Lunch Network is really to assemble a community of women that would support each other to, to achieve their goals. And what happens is when you declare your goal to the universe, so that, that could mean anything. That could mean you, know, you write it on a piece of paper or you put it on a vision board or you tell someone. You have now declared that goal and by telling someone you are accountable. And this is very, very important. Okay, and I'll tell you why in a bit. So let's talk about accountability and how powerful it can be when it comes to taking action. As humans, we have this amazing ability to basically talk ourselves out of anything, right? Uh, when you have a project that you want to launch or a business you want to start or any kind of life change that you want to make uh, or any goal that you want to achieve, your brain will do everything in its power really to um, tell you all the reasons why you, you shouldn't be doing uh, what you are trying to do. And that's because it is the human tendency uh, to want to stay comfortable. That's it. We want to stay comfortable. We don't want to get out of our comfort zone. Like doing this blab may not be the most comfortable thing for me. Like I might be a little bit nervous. I, I feel vulnerable. Uh, I'm, I'm nervous I might make a mistake. But at the end of the day, nothing magical happens in your comfort zone. Nothing. 
All the magic happens out of the comfort zone. So do something um, that's going to get you out of the comfort zone and having an accountability partner will help you do just that. Okay. So um, by making whatever you're working on public, so like in other words, telling another person, um, we basically shut that part of our brain off and um, we are now accountable to someone. This is absolutely magical and transformational. Um, if you've never asked for an accountability partner and you've never had one, ladies, for those of you listening, um, it, could, it can be uncomfortable. You know, sharing your goals with someone now means that guess what? You might actually have to fulfill them because you've told someone about them, right? And what happens when you tell someone and then you don't do something? You feel bad. It's like, oh, shoot, I told that person I was going to do that. I better do what I said I was going to do this week, right? So um, embrace the feeling of discomfort by, by sharing your goals with someone or I mean, some of you may be okay with that, but a lot, a lot of us are a little bit uncomfortable, right? Because it's really opening ourselves up. But embrace that feeling and know that when you're sharing with an accountability partner, this person has your best interests at heart. So this is where LWL comes in, and I wanted to make this special announcement today. Uh, LWL is announcing its special and new uh, accountability partner program. I'm very excited about this because accountability and having an accountability partner is something that has really helped me uh, get to where I am today. I remember uh, in, in the earlier uh, years, well, it hasn't been that many years of LWL. It's really only, Ladies to Lunch has only been around uh, since December of 2012. So 13, 14, 15, it's only been three years. But I remember having an accountability partner uh, within the network, and sh her name is Lori Ashley. Hi, Lori, if you're listening, uh, of Lori Ashley Strategy. She was one of our speakers at Hootsuite at the, at the She's in Biz. And we would set a time every week, and it would be like, I remember sometimes it would be as early as 7 a.m. on a Saturday morning, because that was the only time uh, that we could fit it in you know, and we were so committed to each other and so committed to helping each other achieve our goals. It was really one of the things and, and continues to, to be so today because uh, Lori and I are still accountability partners. Um, and it was really one of the crucial elements to my success. And uh, I highly, highly recommend it. So getting back to the Ladies Who Lunch accountability uh, program, accountability partner program, APP. Accountability Partner Program. <laughs> we are going to be rolling that out. So basically, the whole reason that I created the network was to help women achieve their goals. And every day I wake up and I say, how can I do that today? How can I help the women in the network uh, achieve their goals and their dreams? And I thought, okay, accountability is an amazing way to do it. So for those of you that are interested, I'm going to be sending out an email to the network but if you are interested, send me an email to info at ladieswholunchnetwork.com and title it Accountability Partner Program. And in this email, I want you to tell me what your interests are and um, both personal and professional, keep it very short, and what you can help others with. And if you would like to be a part of the uh, accountability program. So, Let's talk about what makes a good accountability partner, right? Because you don't want to just be partnering up with anyone, of course. So when picking a good accountability partner, we have to keep these key elements in mind, right? So thank you so much, everyone, for the claps. Hello. Uh, great to see you. Um, <laughs> hi, Jody. Thank you. Um, so number one, they should be reliable. An accountability partner is someone, obviously, that you want to rely on. Um, you don't want someone that's going to be flaky. Flaky is not good when it comes to an accountability partner. So make sure they're reliable, right? Um, and make sure that they're okay with being your accountability partner, obviously, right? You want them to be, uh, to agree to be your accountability partner, second of all. And number three, you want to be able to relate to them on some level your accountability partner has to be relatable at some level. So let's just say, for example, you have a personal goal of quitting smoking. 
<clears throat> you're obviously not going to hook up with someone that smokes. <laughs> I mean, it's basic, right? Let's say you want to write a book. You want to publish a book, whether it's an ebook or or whatever the case may be, or you, maybe you want to write for a publication like the Huffington Post or uh, Van City Buzz here in Vancouver. Hi, Van City Buzz. Um, maybe you want to partner with someone that has had experience in these arenas. It's not necessary, but it helps. So the next step for finding a good accountability partner is that your partner um, that you can feel. Um, at ease to be honest and open with them, right? Because it's very important to have a level of honesty with, with your partner because there's a certain level of vulnerability that you're, that you're sharing, right? And finally, you should enjoy talking to them. There's no point in having an accountability partner that <laughs> you don't wanna get on the phone with, right? That's not gonna be fun. That's not going to be fun, right? So again, reliable, number one, make sure the accountability partner is reliable, that they show up to their meetings, and we'll talk about the meetings in a sec and how you can conduct them, but um, that, uh, that number two, they agree to be your accountability partner. Number three, that you can relate to them to some level. Maybe, you know, they're a woman in business, they've started their own business, whatever the case may be that you can be honest with them and that you feel comfortable being honest with them. And finally, that you should look forward to talking to them, right? So I would say aim to talk to your accountability partner at least once a week. This is really important. It has to be consistent, right? So pick a day of the week that works for both of you and clearly outline your goal or your goals. Uh, you can get as ambitious as you like, right? But, but try to focus and clearly outline your goals. So let's say, for example, I talked to my accountability partner on Friday, Friday morning. Um, on that Friday morning, I'm going to set a goal that I want to accomplish by the next time that I talk to her, to him or her, right? So once a week is great, and I recommend at least one hour. So if you're an accountability partner, it goes both ways. You're not the one doing all the talking. There has to be an exchange. So I would say set aside one hour at least and do 30 minutes each. Start with you sharing your goals for 30 minutes and then your partner doing the same. So sometimes an accountability partner is really all you need in order to get you through a rough patch. Uh, sometimes they provide a spark of, in, of inspiration. Um, it's really awesome and, and you guys are really going to love it, I promise you. So if you're interested in being a part of the LWL accountability program, uh, there's no cost to the members, absolutely. And uh, I can't wait to have the program started. Um, again, you can send me an email to info at ladieswholunchnetwork.com and use the title accountability partner program and tell me what it is that you're interested in and what it is that you can help others with. So you must devote at least, um, I'm going to say 30 days to start, uh, 30 days, and you must devote at least four hours uh, to your partner. That's going to help, right? And then you can take it from there. If you guys want to continue, then continue. If you want to choose someone else, that's okay too. So going back to, I want to talk about why goals are not achieved, you know, and usually at the beginning of the year, people set goals, they're very ambitious, and then they wonder, how, why the heck did this goal not come true for me? Well, there's a couple of reasons, but I'm going to talk about the number one reason, and that's because you don't have an accountability partner. Thank you. Thank you for saying great topic. It is a great topic because it really is uh, the key to success in business and personal life as well. So here's why most goals are not met. This is, these are my top three reasons. And number one is accountability and responsibility. If you set a goal for yourself, but nobody knows about it, <laughs> nobody knows about it. It's just your goal. Um, you don't have anyone to be accountable to. You only have yourself to be accountable to. And as entrepreneurs, sometimes that can be very difficult, right? Because we, we are very isolated and, and it's hard because it's hard to motivate ourselves sometimes, right? So most goals are not achieved because we are not held accountable to anyone to achieve them.
that's really the number one reason that I think most goals are not achieved. Um, as human beings, we love to procrastinate. <laughs> Procrastination, we think we have all the time in the world. Oh, I'll get to that tomorrow. Oh, hi, Chantel. How are you? Chantel is a member of the Ladies Who Lunch Network. And uh, she was also Miss Vancouver 2015. I hope I got that right. If I'm wrong, type it in the chat and tell me, um, give me your title again. But you're awesome. Uh, Chantel, hello. Thank you for listening. So as human beings, we procrastinate. It is in our nature uh, to procrastinate. That's what we do. It's just, it, it's, it's natural for us and it's comfortable. And um, that's why we don't get anything done. We think we have all the time in the world. Oh, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it next week. Guess what? You don't. You don't know if you have tomorrow. I hate to be morbid, but it, it's really true. Um, we put, we often put our goals on the back burner, uh, which is not good. And we think that somehow magically they're going to happen. Well, it doesn't happen like that, right? Um, the second benefit to having an accountability partner is that they hold you accountable, obviously, to reach your goals. And they monitor your actions to make sure that you're on the right path. So, for example, a really good question to ask your accountability partner, if you haven't achieved your goal, would be this. What prevented you from achieving this goal? What prevented you? That's a really good question. And then you can see what comes up for them, right? And then you can work through that. So uh, an accountability partner is really a sounding board um, and uh, it's a great thing to have. So number two, idea sharing, creativity, and brainstorming. I always say two brains are better than one. It's true, and, and one of my favorite expressions is, you can't read the label on the outside of the jar when you're inside the jar. Sometimes all it takes is another perspective, you know, and you think like, wait a minute, how come I didn't think of that? <laughs> that's, a, that's a genius idea, you know? And sometimes accountability partners provide these amazing ideas that you would pay a coach, I'm telling you, thousands of dollars for. Brainstorming. I'm going to recommend a book, and I think a lot of you listening probably have read it. It should be on the bookshelf of every entrepreneur. And it's called <clears throat> Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I've got it all marked up. But he talks about one of the keys to being successful is being in a mastermind or having an accountability partner. And I want to show, uh, share uh, his six principles to success. Really, he says, these are the principles that you have to employ in order to be successful or that you have to have. So number one is desire. Number one is desire. It's a real passion um, to live your dream, to be really passionate about what it is that you're doing. Because like as Steve Jobs says, you cannot be, you cannot sustain something you are not passionate about, bottom line. Number two, he says decision. Decision is critical to success. You have to make a decision to be successful. You have to be decisive about it, right? Next one is faith. And faith um, ties into the law of attraction and, and having the belief that when you put your desire to the universe, you must have 100% faith that it's going to come true. Because doubt does not equal manifestation, right? Doubt does not, doubt cancels out manifestation. So if you have a lot of doubt, even though you really, really, really want something, but at the same time you're doubting that you can have it, you're not going to get it. I promise you. On the other hand, if you have 100% belief, that means no doubt whatsoever that you're going to get something, it will manifest, I promise you. The next one, he says, the mastermind is really important. And I'm quoting from the book, 
Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. The mastermind, when he talks about a mastermind, a mastermind can be two people, it can be three people, it can be four people, but I would not recommend more than six people in a mastermind. Six to eight, I think eight is, is tops. And finally, he says organized planning, and that comes down to taking action and having a plan. And that's where a business coach uh, can help. So let's continue. Why it's beneficial to have an accountability partner. We talked about two brains are better than one. Information is one of the most powerful assets a person can have. I always tell my 10-year-old son this, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. And the ability to leverage another person's mind, because that's essentially what you're doing in a mastermind. You're leveraging someone's mind. You're using everything that they have and seeing it from a different perspective to help you move your business forward and vice versa, right? Um, your accountability partner has different experiences than you. They can often see the picture. Some, sometimes someone outside of your business can see your business better than you can. Because when you're so involved in something, like the expression goes, and I always have to say, you can't read the label on the outside of the jar when you're inside the jar. You just can't. So you need that outsider perspective. Having the ability to brainstorm. Brainstorming is incredible. And being creative with another person focuses um, and helps you to solve a problem. This is one of the biggest benefits of an accountability partner. And the last one is motivational support. Um, an accountability partner will really motivate you. Um, staying positive and being motivated is a big challenge for a lot of entrepreneurs. Well, heck, not just entrepreneurs, all of us, right, in any business, but especially as an entrepreneur because sometimes we're so isolated. Goals take time, they take hard work and determination, and sometimes the results don't come as easily as we expect them to. And the problem is when that happens is people give up. And I don't want you to give up. And that's the reason I created the Ladies Who Lunch Network, LWL Network, because I want you to keep going I believe in you. This whole network believes in you. And now with our accountability program, you will have a partner that believes in you as well. This is very, very important. It's critical to your success. By surrounding yourself with a supportive accountability partner, you will receive positive encouragement no matter how you perform. And the active discussions you will participate in will most likely inspire and, and stimulate you to keep going and to keep moving forward. So that being said, LWL Network. It is my pleasure to announce our accountability partner program. I'm so excited to be rolling it out. And all the members will get an email about how you can join if you would like an accountability partner. And of course, if you would like to be an accountability partner to someone. So getting back to the LWL Network, the LWL Network is a global community of women of essentially female entrepreneurs uh, living their dream, helping others do the same and making a difference in the world. Uh, some of the benefits of our membership are the online business directory, which is exclusive to our members. Only our members can see the directory. We have discounted pricing to all of our live events. We just had an event at Hootsuite headquarters. A big shout out to Hootsuite and Ryan Holmes for supporting female entrepreneurs in the Vancouver community. Thank you so much. We have monthly She's in Biz training videos from members to members. So our members have a lot of uh, knowledge and expertise, and it is my vision for them to be able to share it with, our, uh, with other members, essentially. We have access to uh, monthly Coffee with Maria meetings. And for those of you that are in Vancouver, our next live Coffee with Maria, which essentially is a brainstorming and mastermind session, besides a networking event. It's happening March the 1st, and you can visit www.coffeewithmaria.com. It's happening March 1st at Ba House Restaurant. We also have the opportunity for our members to be in what we call our member spotlight and to be showcased on our website, lwlnetwork.com. And finally, our members now have the opportunity to have an accountability partner. So ladies, if you are interested in joining LWL, please visit www.invite.com 
invitefrommaria.com, invitefrommaria.com to pick up your exclusive invitation. Today we were talking about accountability. If any of you have any questions, please go ahead and type it in the chat and I am happy to answer for you. And if not, until then, keep dreaming and keep dreaming with your eyes wide open. Bye for now.